Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So on this video I wanted to show you all how I achieved these super cute, versatile passion twists. If you want to see how I got them, just keep on watching. I typically always start with my shining jam anytime I do my passion twist or braids. It just helps everything stay in place, nice and sleek. So I'm going to start by parting rows and then I'm going to make the boxes. I'm trying to line it up with the other side because I've already completed the left side of my head. So once I have the parting to my liking or what's okay for me, I do go ahead and secure that with the rubber band. However, I think if I do end up doing this style again, I'm gonna do it without the rubber bands because it takes a little bit more time to secure the parting with the rubber band opposed to just go ahead and making the plaits. And for the plaiting, I don't plait it all the way down. I plait it about um, midway because I'm gonna be securing it with another rubber band to the other section. For connecting the two sections, it's very simple. All you're doing is pulling that same plait back and I'm securing it again with another rubber band. If you're not using the rubber bands, then you would just skip the step and start plaiting that next box. is gonna get today I don't know what's up with my parting but it's all right go make it work this show do seem like a big box spray box don't it but I guess this one is pretty big too all right it's got a funny shape head
I'm just braiding my hair straight back. It doesn't have to be neat because when you crochet the hair in, nobody's gonna see your parting spaces. Also, if you're not able to braid at this point, you can just do the flat twist. I am loving this actual hair. It's the bomb.com. And I'm a little dewy because I was just standing up and I was dancing. So you know how that go. So the only thing that I have an issue with is like the, the loop. So you just go and loop it around like you usually do with crochet. Close that latch. If you want, you could do it this way. Close it again. Pull it through. Or I'll show you the other way that I do. I've, I've incorporated both ways. It really don't matter to me though, you know. Does not matter. You get the same result. So, do that again. So this is the other technique that I usually implement when I do any type of crochet. I just grab it with my hand, opposed to using the latch to grab the other piece of hair. And there you go. This was my first time trying this crochet braid pattern and I absolutely love it. If you all have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye.